CJ McCollum is here. Not only an NBA star, but president of the Players Association. Wiley veteran. So, CJ, you understand they're undoubtedly, and you're undoubtedly prepared to field questions about your teammate in New Orleans, Zion Williamson. You didn't show up today not knowing this was coming. Pelicans say he's cleared for full basketball activities this summer after missing all of last season with a foot injury. They get Zion Williamson back next season. After missing all of the 21-2022 season with a foot injury, he's played in just 85 games in his three-year NBA career. CJ, you said recently that you plan on spending time with Zion this offseason. Why? What do you want to get done during your time together? Well, first and foremost, the most successful teams have a relationship off the court. So I thought that was very important. I've always hung out with my teammates off the floor. Don't like to compare things, but previous teams, Dave and I had a really good relationship, kicked it, vacations, things of that nature. So I want to kind of set the precedent on how we're going to move going forward and what it's going to take for us to be successful. Second part is I like to work out with my teammates. That allows us to get better individually. That allows us to kind of figure out weaknesses and strengths and how we can kind of apply that to our new team, new situation. It's going to be very important for us to be on the same page. It's going to be very important for us to have that trust. And Zion, as a put down the Big Mac. Stop it. Stop <laughs> oh, it. Don't sorry. do that. What? Stop it. Don't do that. <laughs> it's going to be have important. Kale and, you know, sweet potatoes or whatever it is. We're going to have some good meals. But I think the, the moral of the story is we have to work together off the court in order to really forge that bond on the court. And it starts with the summer. Right. Um, how do you think he can best improve his availability after having already missed so much time to injury? I think injuries are a part of the game, so they're going to occur. It's more about doing the little things. Like what time are you going to sleep? How much water are you drinking a day? Are you using your Normatec? Are you using your game ready? Are you getting massages? Do you have a set schedule, a set routine that you can kind of rely upon on the road and at home? I think that's what's really important. And then as, as a guy who's been hurt before, it's more about how you recover and what you learn from the previous injuries, right? Diet, making sure you're tightening up your diet, your chef, your nutrition. We've talked about blood testing. I've done all the little things to give myself a chance to succeed, understanding that injuries can occur, but what are you doing to prevent the little injuries from becoming bigger? See, this is why I love the trade when they picked you up. And uh, some people are like, well, what do they need CJ McCollum for? Because not a man, head of the Players Association, obviously the guy knows what he, you know, you're not a, you're, you're a smart guy, but it's one thing to pick up a veteran player on a young team like the Pelicans. It's another thing to pick up an all-star caliber veteran player. There's a difference, and you can hear it just in the way you're talking about things, why it makes so much sense. I look at a Zion who's more available next year with the team you guys have there. That could be a problem. And, and, but much was made about Zion not reaching out to you when you first joined the team, and you shut down any controversy. You said you spoke to him several times. You told critics to, to leave him alone, and right away it's like, see, that's why I get C.J. McCollum. How would you describe him, him as a teammate so far, though? You no, know, it's funny. There's this misconception of what he's like as a human being. He's nice. He's fun-loving. He's from the South. He loves his Southern cuisine, obviously, but I think the cool part is that his teammates like him, right? You, you see the media. You see how he's treated. He doesn't really speak very often. There's a lot of people that kind of speak for him behind the scenes, but one of the things he's going to do going forward is be present, not just with the team, but with the media. So you can kind of see exactly how he is as a person. But all in all, I've enjoyed my experiences with him. He works extremely hard. The rehab process is brutal, not only mentally, but physically. You know, you're away from the team, you feel removed, you're getting up early, you're working out by, by yourself, and essentially you feel like you're, you're lost. And I think with us going, in, going into the playoffs last year, winning those playing games, I think it kind of painted the picture of this work is, is not, is not going to be lost. I'm going to be able to contribute, play well with this team. I'm going to be able to really show the world what I have to offer, not just in the regular season, but also in the postseason. Quickly, and I know it's not just you and Zion, Ingram, you have like real good talent on the team. Can you, and, can you have more success in New Orleans than you had even with Dame in Portland, do you think? Yes, <laughs> that's a loaded question. Of course it is. I think comparison I'm is loaded. a thief of joy. I hate to compare things. I think this opportunity presents different challenges. I think this opportunity presents different strengths. And I think obviously with the likes of B.I., you know, you've seen what he was capable of in the playoffs. B.I., if you're watching this, answer my FaceTime the night after I'll call you. Um, I think oh. it's, yeah, he hasn't been answering my calls lately. Mm -mm. But I, I think the, the, the more important thing is we have depth, we have youth, we're in a great market, a great environment in which they're yearning for success. And I think we're gonna be able to provide them that, but it's gonna take hard work. There's gonna be expectations now, which they haven't had to go through before, where you, you were the underdog before, and now you may potentially be a home seat, but you gotta take advantage all season. And as a veteran guy who's been through that, been through the fire, has lost to the Warriors on countless occasions, I know what championship basketball looks like. So we have to be able to replicate that success in our own way. And I think it starts with the summer work and the summer preparation. 
Does Brandon owe you money? Are you playing cards on the plane? Is that what's going on? I, don't, I only gamble on casinos. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.